it's Sarah. Today I wanted to share some tags I made with these um, Prima Doll stamps. Um, I had seen Art and Sassy did a swap uh, with these on a little canvas and I missed out on that. I didn't have them and um, now I do. So I played with them yesterday and, and I wanted to show you. I got these four. I'm hoping to get the other two. <laughs> Everybody knows about them already. Um, so I wanted to tell you the tags I made out of, um, that's awfully bright. Um, this is a manila folder, just a regular manila file folder. And I used the uh, template here. See, I wrote it on there. The, there's glare. Um, to, size, to use it for size. So um, that's what I ended up doing. I'm hoping to do a steampunk one on this one because I just finished my ATC swap and I'm kind of in the steampunk mode right now. But the papers that I used, again, are from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Uh, this is called the Butterfly Kisses Composition Book. These were actually created to cover a composition, those marble composition books. Um, the papers are gorgeous. I love them. They're so bright. And um, so I used a couple of these already for my tags. I cut a butterfly out of here for one of my tags. Um, so let's go ahead and start sharing. So this is my first tag. I covered the manila paper with the paper uh, completely. I just used, um, this is actually um, a K and Company paper that I put on the back. But this is the Ephemeris Vintage Garden paper. Um, I'm also liking the um, Fabrifix. This is Fabrifix. I think it, I thought it was called Fabritac. This is by Beacon. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, I had seen a couple videos of people using that, and instead of hot glue, because I was having trouble getting my laces and fabrics and things to fit. Um, and not to fit, to stick. Um, they would just pull right off and stuff when I used hot glue. So I did use that to put on my uh, lace trim and this bling down here um, and these flowers. This actually, this flower I got from, I just got the beads, the bead dangles back from the swap I did at Art and Sassy. And this was on one of the little envelopes, on Kara's envelope. So I pulled it off there and I used it on here. And I just fussy cut her out. I used black stickles on her f shoes and I fussy cut some um, paper. This is all, um, all the paper I used on the girls' outfits is um, my mind's eye paper, paper stacks, different paper stacks from there. Um, I used a little bit of bling and some uh, glossy accents to accent a few things and just put some ribbon and a little, uh, crystal up there. That's my first one. And then here's my second one. Again, this is the Ephemeris Vintage Garden paper. This time though, I used, I took, oh, I put on the back. This is again the uh, K and Company paper. I covered the back to the edges, but on the front, I left the smidge of room and just um, used um, Tim Holtz uh, Distress Inks. I think I just used, what did I use on this one? Probably green. Because my other one has green and blue on it. And a little yellow. I was trying to figure out colors. I was mixing a lot. So, and I used the Fabri-Tac to put this trim down here. This is another piece of the paper that I just fussy cut and put out, put down there to tie in some more pink. Because her dress was pink, but the paper was mostly green. It just had this one pink butterfly. Um, that I just put glossy accents in. This is the butterfly I cut out that I showed you I cut out and put. See, there's little butterflies here, but you can't really see them. So I just put glossy accents over him. Maybe I'll do that on the other ones. And then I put, this is a little bead dangle that I have. This is a, um, a dragonfly bead dangle. So I just hooked that on the, on the um, ribbon at the top. So she turned out pretty cute. Oh, the other thing is, this one's not blended real well with my Copics because I ran, I think I ran out of my two skin tones were like really squeaky. So I think I have to get uh, another, a couple more E's because um, 
they did not work too good like she actually is the first one I did so she's looking best then this one I had to like keep redoing she looks really spray tanned so that's good I mean she's kind of like a pageant girl anyway so this one's really cute this is just again a piece of the paper I think this might be in the other half of this hot air balloon one it's very similar I don't know um, and again I cut it with a little smidge of room and glued it on and then oh actually this is the other half of it there was a little angel girl on the bottom of it so cute um, and I just glossy accented the um, butterflies really I didn't embellish very much on these at all I just let the paper do the talk and I love that um, and then I love her little outfit that's it's so fun to paper piece um, another thing I'm noticing is when I go around my uh, paper piece no fussy cut pieces with black sometimes a lot of times people do that when they fussy cut out pieces they go around with a black marker if you ever touch up again if you try to go back in and like touch anything up you'll pull the black off of there which I don't understand I don't know it doesn't do it with the memento ink that you actually stamp it with but um, if you try to go back in the black Copic comes up so I don't know but anyway I really enjoyed these I have one more where is she this one I think I'm gonna try I might make her my um, my little steampunk girl I think because I have wings that I'm gonna try using but I have been playing with metal so I'm gonna try I might do something with my this is that uh, tape the foil tape that you get at Home Depot and stuff so I might do something with that I'm kind of debating if I want to keep playing with uh, what else did I do sorry I got distracted <laughs> um, so yeah I've been playing with those just making little tags and stuff um, but I really enjoyed these they're so pretty I think they should belong on the front cover of a mini album or something like that maybe I'll make a canvas maybe I'll get a little more um, embellishments on there next time but um, I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching bye bye